we've heard everybody say, naysaying radiation. I've become, my radiation oncologist is so kind and I wince every time I tell him in the tumor board, no, I wouldn't use radiation. Um, Tony, you have some very strong feelings about radiation. Tell us a little bit. I think they are actually all of our same feelings yeah, as well. Yeah, I think, I think, I think my, my, my feelings are, you know, you do what's best for the patient and take the best evidence into account. I mean, radiation is not, as a lot of our radiation colleagues would like to think, it's not an innocuous and it's very expensive. And there's absolutely zero evidence right now that it has value. In fact, I, I hear the other argument that I keep on hearing sometimes, about, well, how about the R1 resections? Those are the patients that, you know, have a little, you know, cells floating around. These are the patients who are actually more likely to be metastatic already than the R0 resections. And so I think if we look at the cumulative data, um, uh, clearly there's a study that says radiation may worsen outcome. A lot of issues with that study. I'd say at least what this study shows is that chemotherapy improves outcome. That's SPAC1. And radiation does not add value. And then, and then the cumulative evidence beyond that point, even in, actually if you look at the local regional recurrence, risk of local regional recurrence across all studies that included radiation uh, and those that did not, they all fall within the same line. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit of an advantage for the local recurrence with radiation, but local regionally, about the same, it's a wash. Survival, no improvement. Uh, cost, more. Toxicity, more. So at this point of time, uh, there's no indication for radiation, whether it's R0 or R1 resection. Hopefully you'll never see an R2 resection. Um, there's no real role for radiation, only for chemotherapy. Uh, there's a study, RTOG0848, that is struggling a little bit in terms of, of, of accrual, but has an interesting question in it. Can we, after we maximize adjuvant chemotherapy, uh, meaning five, six months of gemcitabine, uh, gemcate now, and then you, you randomize patients to receive consolidative radiation or finish the chemo. Uh, so that study may give us a hint, at least if you maximize systemic control, uh, is there a role for, uh, for radiation? And I would say that, again, and not to, 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 to down, downgrade the role of radiation, I think pancreas cancer remains a systemic disease. And unless and until we have much more effective systemic uh, regimens that control the systemic disease, there's very little role for consolidative uh, uh, local procedures beyond surgery. And Ramesh, what about locally advanced pancreas cancer? That's another place where right. we've seen radiation, <laughs> some controversy studies saying things. Um, so in locally advanced disease, the uh, LAP-07 study, which gave chemotherapy first, randomized to chemo radiation or continuing chemotherapy, did not show a benefit in terms of uh, impacting on survival. So having said that, that study was with gemcitabine, not with falfurinox or gemabraxane. Um, so in uh, my practice, uh, again, this varies <laughs> in the whole Mayo system across three different states. Uh, if we, well, we, we obviously we want to put them on a clinical trial first, and we do have some clinical trials with SBRT and uh, with or without radiation. But typically, I do give chemotherapy. Um, there was a study by Dr. Philip, uh, the LAPAC study, which I think we might talk about, showing gemabraxane was a good uh, reference regimen for locally advanced disease. So after four to six months, some, uh, in some patients, I do consider radiation, especially if they have neuropathy, they need to take a break from systemic chemotherapy. Pain control, uh, maybe. And for pain control, exactly. For, th there has to be a reason to do radiation, yeah. not every single patient. Well, t tell us about LAPAC. You brought it up. Now you mm -hmm. get now you get to tell <laughs> us about it. <laughs> so uh, the LAPAC study for was uh, a study, um, industry-sponsored study for locally advanced pancreatic cancer. Uh, enrolled about 100 patients. These patients were treated with gemcitabine and apaclitaxel induction period for 16 weeks or four months after which uh, at investigator discretion could get chemo radiation, sufficient downstaging could get surgery or continue with chemotherapy. Um, I don't remember exactly the median survival or I don't think it was reported, but response rate was about 35% uh, impressive. And um, I think about 30% uh, of patients underwent surgical exploration and, and half of them had uh, R0. So th that was encouraging that these were well-staged, uh, unresectable patients to start with, 
and some of them were downstage. So I think um, gems had to be napped back to taxol certainly is a could be a certainly it's a standard regimen for locally advanced disease. And yeah. there are other studies with fall free rocks as well.